Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Mike from around the world will be our guest today. TX68 is a real, a real issue. You're looking right there at last night's uh, fireballs that went actually racing by the earth, um, which was, I believe, 13 of them last night. Uh, you know, might have been more than that even. 13 is right. 13 last night. 13 fireballs. You're looking at all 13 of their orbits as they swung by the Earth. And it's an, it's an incredible. These are all near-Earth asteroids. The fireballs every night take place, and NASA's all-sky cameras will, will constantly scan the skies above the uh, United States for meteorite fireballs. Automated software maintained by NASA's Meteoroid Environmental Office calculates the orbits, its velocity, their penetration depth into the Earth's atmosphere, and many other characteristics that each fireball will present. Um, and it's a fascinating story. But what we've got getting ready to happen is a major, major asteroid, TX-68. It is going to come dangerously close to the Earth. They originally told us that it would be 1.3 lunar distance from the Earth, which is, you know, 300,000 miles. They're now saying they've changed that. They now say it's going to come within 19,245 miles from the Earth. And so they're saying the distance is 0.0. For four lunar distance, uh, there is some reports, Mike from around the world, and uh, also I believe BP Earthwatch are both saying it could be as close as nine to ten thousand miles from the Earth. And matter of fact, NASA said that it was going to go by on March the fifth, but now there's reports Eurospace is saying it's March the seventh. And we're getting other reports that it may be March the 7th because the lunar gravitational pull is actually going to slow the meteorite down and also change its trajectory a little bit. Now, I'm going to be asking Mike from around the world to help us understand this. It's a 100-foot it's a asteroid, Okay. So it's about four times bigger than the one that exploded over Russia in February of 2013. And here's the deal. We just had a, a, we just had a small meteorite explode over the ocean a few days ago. It was very small. And its explosion was equivalent to 13,000 tons of TNT, or about, about as strong as the uh, one of the uh, bombs we dropped in Japan over Hiroshima. Here's a comparison. That was over the over the ocean a few days ago. The uh, the asteroid, the meteorite that exploded over Russia three years ago, was equivalent to 500,000 tons of TNT. All right, unbelievable. That's why even though it exploded over the the, the wilderness of Siberia, it still damaged 7,000 buildings and, and injured 1,500 people miles away. Because you got to understand, 500,000 tons of TNT? Are you serious? That's unreal. Get this. This asteroid is much bigger than that one. It's about three to almost four times bigger than the one that went over Russia. That is why they've been watching. NASA has been watching this asteroid for three years, since 2013. They've been watching this specific asteroid because they know it is coming dangerously close to the Earth. Way closer than the moon is to the Earth. Way closer. And so when you're talking 9,000, 10,000 miles from the Earth, what else is coming with this asteroid? Will there be, you know, so I'm not saying, they're not saying we're going to have a deep impact. No, 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 no. But they are saying this is dangerously close. 
And, you know, the one that exploded over Russia, NASA never even saw that one. They never even saw that one coming. So we're going to try to find out from Mike from around the world today about this asteroid. It is an event. There's no question. This is an event. We're going to be all right. But what else could be traveling with it? I mean, what else is traveling with it? So we're going to try to find out. He'll be our live guest today. Don't miss the broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. Mike from around the world will be our guest. And we're going to talk about the asteroid TX-68. We're going to talk about extreme weather conditions that are still happening all over the planet. We're going to also talk about military troop movements and this threat that Turkey and Saudi Arabia threatening to do a ground invasion with 20 nations into northern Syria with maybe as many as 250,000 soldiers and the fact that Putin has made a comment that if they invade, he may use tactical nukes. What does that all mean? Turkey's been calling our president, asking us to also get involved with 30,000 troops. What does this all mean? So we're going to ask Mike specifically. We're going to focus on TX-68 coming March 5th or 7th. And we're going to ask about the military troop movements, asset movements everywhere. Uh, what does this all mean? We're also going to talk about North Korea, South Korea, and what's going on there. So we'll be talking to Mike around the world today. Don't miss the broadcast. starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulvegleyprophecy.com.